How do I get my pictures to go from looking like this to this? One simple photography tool and two free apps, and that's all you need to go from this to this. Stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And on this channel, I talk all about my reselling journey, giving different tips on things like how to improve your pictures for your listings, things like what sold videos. So if that sounds interesting to you at all, make sure that you subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Make sure that you also hit that notification bell so that you are alerted every time I put out some new content. And if you enjoy this video and feel like you got a lot out of it, then make sure that you hit that like button as well. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna be showing you something that my husband got me for Christmas in 2019. So I've had this item now for three months and it's something that I had kept telling him would transform my reselling game, especially when it came to taking pictures of things like shoes and small accessories, even like small hard goods. And what that was, was a photo box. Now, my husband is the type of person who likes to do a ton of research before he purchases anything. Even things like Kleenex, I feel like. Like, I feel like he will research what is the best Kleenex before he goes out and buys a box of Kleenex. He's I love him, He's, but he's weird. So when I told him that this is what I wanted, I actually gave him a link to something that I saw another reseller use and I was like, I think that one's fine. And he was like, well, let me do my research. <laughs> so he spent probably a full week just looking at a bunch of different models, a bunch of different brands. And after the week was up, he was like, okay, I think I found the one that I'm gonna get you. And it was this one. This is the Samtian Photo Box and it is 24 by 24 by 24 inches because there are a few different sizes. And it is the professional light box with 126 LED light shooting text tabletop photography lighting kit with six background papers. That is a mouthful. He purchased that for me on Amazon. It is on Amazon right now for $88.68 and you can get that with Amazon Prime with free shipping and all of that good stuff. I do have an affiliate link for it down in the description below and I promise you guys, I would never recommend anything, especially with an affiliate link, if I didn't 100% believe in this product. And that's why I am making this video now because now I have spent three months with this beauty. <laughs> and like I said, it has completely completely transformed my game. So before I got this photo box, I was taking pictures on this gray futon that is in my kid's playroom. It was fine, it got the job done, it just was not ideal, especially because of things like lighting and also because you would get the sense that this was sitting on a couch. The pictures just really didn't come across as professional. And sometimes if I wasn't using the futon, I would use the floor in my kitchen slash family room area. We have a really cool floor, but even still, like you would just get weird shadows because I'd be standing over the item. I had to make sure that it was in like the most perfect spot of the floor where the sun was hitting it nicely, just all sorts of issues. Furthermore, I feel like some people take real issue with the idea that the thing that they're about to buy from you has been on the floor. So like I said, this is one of the things that I asked for for Christmas was a light box. And because I am a part-time reseller, I'm pretty frugal when it comes to buying stuff for my reselling business because this isn't how I make a full-time income. I'm a high school choir teacher and so I do all of this reselling stuff with any free time that I have. So I personally don't have like a big ring light or those big photo light things that people like to use that are on big you know, tripods and whatnot. I don't have any of that and I just use my phone to take pictures, but this was something that I felt like was worth the investment because of the number of shoes and bags. And even now that I'm trying to get into hard goods, I knew that it would be worth it because my pictures would just look that much better. The last reason I love this item is because I don't have any other lighting equipment. I was forced to only take pictures of things during the daytime when I had great natural light. And luckily I do have a lot of space in my house where the natural light is pretty good but even still it was very limiting to when I could take pictures and now that I have this light box or photo box I am able to take pictures whenever I want so I'm going to take you with me into our office which is where the photo box lives right now and you'll see like it's 
nighttime so there's not a lot of natural light so it's actually kind of hard to see the box itself because the box is black but you'll get the picture of what the box looks like how it functions and you'll get to see me take pictures of some items in the box after i'm done with that i'll show you what i do afterward to make the pictures look as beautiful as possible i do have to still do some photo editing and you'll see why i'll also share with you a few of the negatives that i have with the product there's really only two and actually i'll tell you one of the negatives right now the edges of the top of the box have that velcro -y material and i think the reason for that is because there's a big flap on the front of the box that you can pull off and lift and like you know have it lay on top of the top of the box and so i think that the velcro on the edges of the top are supposed to hold that big flap in place well i walked past the box in my brand new lululemon pants and my pants like snagged on the velcro i hate when that happens on lululemon pants like i hate it and so that is definitely a pro that's more my fault though, because I wasn't being careful, but just watch out for the edges of the box, especially depending on what it is that you're wearing. I wanted to announce the winner of yesterday's giveaway, which was for a five pound mystery box from my death pile. Okay, this is a big prize. This is for the five pound mystery box from my death pile. So remember, probably not like the most amazing stuff, but the winner is Sharon J. And Sharon J said, I am playing trivia on the house party app. I have never heard of that, but I am going to check that out because that sounds really fun. So congrats, Sharon. Make sure that you reach out by either DMing me on Instagram or emailing me. And my information for both of those platforms are in the description below. Congratulations. All right, well, let's go look at the box. Here she is. She just looks like a regular black box because that's what she is when she's not plugged in and working her magic. And you can see that this room is pretty messy and that's because this is our office. Technically, it's supposed to be my son's room, but my son doesn't use it because he still sleeps with me in my bed. And that is where I sit every morning that I do these live premiere videos. In fact, that's probably where I'm sitting right now, as many of you are watching this as it premieres at 10 a.m. And that's where I kind of just sit and hang out and chat with you guys. But right behind me usually sits this black box. So let's go ahead and turn it on so that you can see it in all of its glory. So there are a couple things you do to turn it on. The first thing is you turn it on and then there is a dial here where you can um, decide like how bright you want the light. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on the full brightness. Here we go. I'm gonna open up the box so that you can see just how much light this thing pumps out. You can kind of see it behind the flap, but once I open this, like, isn't that blinding? It is blinding. So I'll give you a quick peek of the inside. That's the inside. There is, here's like a view of the lights. You can kind of see all the lights that they use. And this piece of white backdrop, it actually came with a bunch of different colors. I like the white, so I've never really used anything else. But let me show you a couple other things. So you'll notice on the front that there are like these three flaps and they're at varying heights. And the reason for that is because you can, if you want, just come in here and this will make more sense if I actually put something in there. Let me put an item in there. Hold on. Let's say I am photographing. I have this bra on top. So let's say I'm photographing this bra. So I'm going to go ahead and take this bra and just plop it there. I'm not trying to make it look nice right now. But that bra is in there. But if I want, I can take a picture of it from this high of an angle. Here is the middle flap. Then I get that angle, or I can kind of come at it just right from almost ground level. So that's pretty cool. And then there's also on top this flap right here that you can lift so that you can get a picture from the top. And this thing kind of hangs down sometimes, but you just pull that up and you can get a beautiful picture of the item from like an aerial perspective. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to use pictures and then... We will go from there.
next I'm going to share with you how I edit my pictures and although the quality of the space that I'm taking these pictures in is so much better than the futon in my kids playroom and although I'm dealing with pretty much mainly a white background the side walls if you notice they're like these big kind of aluminum panels and I think that that's so that the light will reflect off of them and create even more of this white space but even still I am needing to edit out things like the lines that you see from the box just from the fact that there are you know four sides to the box and where the corners are like you can see these lines and then also like you'll notice the top like fourth of each picture is a little bit darker so I use two apps to edit all of my pictures and the first thing I do is go through every picture that I want to edit and I use an app called PicTapGo and I actually misspoke earlier when I said that all of the apps that I use are free this one actually does cost two dollars and ninety nine cents in the what is it the app store on my iPhone I do think that you can get PicTapGo if you are an Android user as well I have PicTap Go programmed right into my phone. Basically, it's a part of what already comes on my phone as far as photo editing is concerned. I learned how to do that using one of Empty Hanger's videos, and I will link that down below. But basically, all I use PicTap Go for is their lights on filter, and it just brightens the picture. So even though these pictures are taken in such a bright white space, they're still kind of like a dull grayish feel to them and so I use PicTap Go just to kind of brighten up the pictures a little bit and you'll also notice I don't edit every single picture like there are some pictures that are a little bit dull or they're just not as bright but because they're not going to be my cover photo I don't really care and I don't put a lot of time into them and that's totally fine with me the next app that I will use is an app called Snapseed, Google Snapseed. It is a free app and it's wonderful because it allows you to do a lot of different things. The first function of Snapseed that I love is called healing. And when you use healing, you're able to kind of color in with like these red highlights parts of the photo that you want to get rid of so this is maybe again where you see like the lines of the corners in the box anything like that and then the other function that I use is called selective and basically with selective you place these little dots on different parts of the picture and you can do different things to that part of the picture so the default selection is to brighten that area of the picture and you can see how it basically instantaneously will create that crisp white background that you want. Again, generally speaking, I will not edit every single picture of every single listing. I will spend as much time as I need to on my cover photo. I will definitely use that PicTap Go lights on filter and then I will also use the selective tool and use the healing tool in Google Snapseed to just clean up the background. But to be honest, for a lot of the other pictures, especially if it's just pictures with like measurements or picturements, <laughs> picturements, or pictures of like the care tag or the size tag or something, I, I don't really care what's in the background there. I don't care if you can see the line from the corner of the photo box. I'm gonna leave that stuff in because it's just not worth my time to make those pictures look good. But I will spend an inordinate amount of time sometimes on my cover photos. So for today's video, I took pictures of nine different items and I tried to take pictures of like a variety of items. So you could kind of see, okay, this is what the process is for a pair of shoes or this is what the process is for something that is inside of a box or a doll, well, you know, whatever. Um, but I took pictures of nine different listings and it took me 17 minutes and 51 seconds to edit all of them. And the reason for that really is because of something that's gonna be coming up here soon. I just had so much trouble getting out like this really dark shadowy spot kind of next to this North, North Face backpack that's coming up. So you'll see that I just spend way too much time on it. Okay, here it comes. Basically where I was having issues was this corner where that strap was and because it goes against that silver wall that I had talked about, I just could not get it to look clean. Like I just could not get rid of the silver part. And I probably spent at least like a minimum of five to seven minutes just on this one little part and you see me working 
so diligently on this. And really what I should have done, because it would have saved so much time, I should have just realized that this was not worth spending my time on. And I should have just retaken the picture and tucked those straps in so that they were not in the way or not like against that silver wall. And then I wouldn't have had to go through what I went through with Google Snapseed. Now, one other really wonderful thing about Google Snapseed is you can kind of make these very fine and specific edits by zooming in, which is what you see me doing here, like to a ridiculous degree because I'm just trying to get rid of that shadow. The other thing you want to be really careful of too when it comes to pick, or no, this is Google Snapseed, is if you use that brighten function from like the selection function too much, you can kind of alter the color of your picture a little bit. So like I do think that by the time I'm done with this because I like go in and brighten it so much to get rid of this little gray patch, I do think that I end up making this backpack look a little lighter than it needs to. Like it's probably a little bit darker in person. But that's why I also think it's important to not touch up every single picture because if you leave some pictures alone, then people can see, oh, okay, that's what it looks like in slightly more natural lighting or without any editing. And you can even put that in your description. Like you can say to get an idea of what the true color of this item is, look at picture number four or whatever it is. So as you can see, like I'm still working on this spot. This is a sped up version of me editing, obviously, and I'm still at it. So we're just gonna keep going and let me finish this because at this point I've gotten so close <laughs> to fixing it that I'm not gonna let it go, obviously. One other note, when you export the new picture that you've edited, you have the option of exporting a copy or replacing your original copy. I definitely recommend exporting a new copy so that you still have your original in case you want the original for whatever reason. found that helpful. Like I said, if you're interested in purchasing one of those boxes, I do have a link down below. And if you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave me your question down in the comment section and I will try my very best to get back to you and answer it in a timely manner. I want you guys to know too that although I can't respond to every single comment, I try really hard to, but at the end of the day, sometimes I just can't but I do read every single comment and I'm so appreciative of all of you who take the time to leave me a comment down there. So with that being said, let's talk about what the giveaway is for today and what you have to do to enter to win that giveaway. So today I'm gonna to be giving away some more poly mailers, but these are actually from the brand No Issue and they're not poly mailers, they are compostable mailers and they're compostable mailers because they are, dun, 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 they are compostable, obviously, but it's because they're made out of plant material like corn and more corn. So they're made out of corn. So the beautiful thing is if you throw it in your compost, it will disappear in six months and compost into the ground. How cool is that? As someone who loves gardening, I just think that that is really neat. So I have worked with No Issue in the past and I am actually partnering with them sometime in the very near future on another collaboration. But for this giveaway, I will be giving the winner 10 of these so that they can try it out. They are just like great quality mailers. And I purchased like a huge amount of these because this is what I use to ship out eBay packages in if you know they are under a pound and will fit inside of a mail. So this is what I use. I love it and I love the fact that I am doing something that's much better for the environment than using poly mailers and things of that nature. So this will be your prize and all you have to do to enter the giveaway is leave a comment down below and let me know what has been the biggest game changer for you when it comes to your photographs for your reselling business. That's all you got to do. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> It is fine. <coughs> <coughs>
Like it was just really, <coughs> um, the top of the box, the, also before we take a look at the box, I wanted to announce the giver. I wanted, 